Why hello there, Duke is here once again, and as promised like a month ago, I am going to play some Black Desert Online, or rather I have played, and I'm going to give you some updates on the events that have transpired. So as you can see in the background, uh, we got our guild up and running, and we decided to try out the uh, guild Musken Scroll, for a small guild I believe. We thought maybe it would be a little bit harder than the Awakened version, but turns out this this boss is just insane. Uh, I have watched some YouTube videos of other guilds doing this later, and I mean, this is a story for everybody. You literally you do as much damage as you can, then you get one shot, and then you go back and do as much damage as you can. I didn't actually notice in the beginning that we didn't lose experience from dying to him. I should have known. Uh, but in the end, we actually just called it quits. It didn't look like we would be able to kill him within the 30 minute time limit, I believe. 45 minutes or 30. But yeah, we had to stop there. It was fun though. We got like 8 or 9 people to go, which was pretty damn cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, just 7. I, I overvalued my guild members there. But yeah, there's that. And of course, we have to do some uh, bosses as well, just regular world bosses. In this case I was doing some uh, Karanda and I haven't had any luck there yet. I've gotten a few essences but no boxes, no weapons, which kind of blows. Um, also I believe I died quite a few times there. I actually came back from a death there. But yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, and of course I am trying to get my TRA tours, so I am going to do some breeding as well. Uh, unfortunately I have never bred any horses before, so I didn't quite know how to do this. Uh, in the end I figured out I have to like... I don't know how to say this, like put my male horse up for breeding. And I had to pay extra to like make sure I was the one who got the breed. And I didn't realize it takes like... What is it, 6 or 12 hours for the breathing to complete? Uh, so yeah, we'll just have to wait for that. The, the whole breathing system is a bit weird. But it's in progress, so there we go. And there's my first breathing complete. Let's see what we can get here. So, I believe that is the tier 6 or tier 7? Yeah, horsey, there we go. Look at him go, tier 7. Let's try the next one then. Oh yeah, and I also re <laughs> realized another bullshit thing. There's a cooldown after you actually bred, so you can't register another breed for like 3, three hours and then some. So yeah, that's annoying. Let's try the next. Let's see what we have here. I believe, once I click the right horse. There we go. I believe we get a tier 6 here. Come on, click that button. Yeah, a tier 6. I do actually like the black with a, uh, like the black horse with a white mane. Uh, kind of want that even for my tier 8. But yeah, there we go, another tier 6, female even, so we can breed even more. Here I've just killed some of my daily bag scrolls, and I mean... We have to check if we can get some bosker out of it, right? So no dim tree, check the bags. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything. I'm getting a fair bit of the... Uh, I oh, also had some Narc Briska. Doesn't look like I'm getting any boss gear, just getting uh, some weapon and uh, armor blackstones, which, which isn't too bad. And of course, we can't forget the Lavientes event. I thought I got a lot more than I did. Uh, like, I only got three Ancient Pearl drops total, and I, I grinded Fogans for like 30 hours maybe. And I also did a crap ton of gathering for my uh, Fira sailboat, so... I have no idea why the drop rate is so low on it. I, well, I guess I do know, but... Oh well, let's open. 
Let's see here. So we have two ancient pearls left. Uh, there's one day more. So I, m I might actually be able to get another pearl drop. Uh, we're going to open the, uh, the shiny box, see what we can get there. Just a little bug. Obviously hoping for the tongue grads or ogres. Ogres would be beast. But I think we're going to get a crescent ring, as, as per usual from these boxes. Let's also open the uh, let's also open the fine accessory box. Really don't like the current state animation thingy. What do we get here? Another crescent? No, we get a basilisk belt. I'm quite happy with that. I do want some basses. Let's open all of the rest of the boxes. Let us see what we can get from all of the thingamabobbies. So we got 66 gold diamond rings. We have an advice of all, which we might as well just get out of the way. It, it is nice to be able to just click the vault and not have to worry about fail stacking. Fail stacking can be stressful. 19 isn't too bad either. Should we start with the splendid boxes? Actually, there, that's just one. Where's, where's the rest of them? Oh well, we're doing this. Splendid box. Cubernelius. Cubellinus, even. Not too bad, the price is messed up because of the, well, the boxes, so everybody else also got a crap ton of them. Let's try the diamond rings. Gold diamond rings. Hopefully I can spam through them. Yay, a blackstone armor. Going to be a lot of the elixirs and stuff, and the horse gear armor, for sure. I've never actually used many of the elixirs, so this is kind of nice. Cronstones, I uh, might be able to use them later for like try or test attempts. I have a feeling I won't get a single one of the... Uh, oh, actually that's a soil ogre ring, isn't it? Yeah. I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to get a single one of the good items, so Kasarka box, Ogre Rings, uh, Sicil's Necklace I believe was in there as well. But you are getting a fair few of the soil ones here. Maybe we can snack some Witcher's earrings. I don't actually plan on using them at all, but I mean, it's like 10 mil. It's neat. Oh, we got something there. What did we get? Hey, sharp shard. Not too bad. I mean, it's all free money. It's free real estate. <laughs> Sorry. What else can we get here? Oh, another good one. And guess what? It's another sharp shard. The amount of elixirs though, and I believe I'll, I'm just going to sell everything. Old Blackstone. There's some Stormhorse gear. Ooh, what did we get now? 5 mil? Not too bad. Golden items are always good to get. to see that chumpy animation. A filthy Sicil. Might be able to get one of the Sicil necklaces. I still haven't been able to get the actual item from the soil item, so that's... That kind of sucks. Let me just take a snooze while I'm waiting for this to end. For some reason I always think I will get something good from the boxes, because hey, like, hey, I got like 97 of these. Obviously I'm going to hit the jackpot once. Let's see what we get there. Hey, hard shard. I was about to say a hard sharp. A hard shard. More spirit horse gear. Hmm. 
Hmm. Also, I see now while I'm editing. I'm so sorry about the... I don't know what to call it, the interlaced image. I have no idea why the quality is so bad. Hopefully it doesn't make anyone nauseous. The EXP Reaper Elixirs is pretty damn good, so those I might actually hold on to. Then again, they also sell for the most, I think. Ooh, what do we get now? Hey look, a Witch's Earring. 10 mil, or 2 sharps, hopefully. Another Soiled Crescent, I think that's the first Soiled Crescent we got. And a Benchos. I have no idea if people actually use pen shows. I mean, getting the crown stones isn't too bad, it is 1 million. I mean, eventually you'll have enough to actually use them. We want another jumpy animation, don't we? Yes, we do. Cronstones. I remember the trade chat was like Cronstone box, Cronstone box. Do we have anything else to open up? Nah. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Yeah, you can see like half of the boxes were elixirs <laughs> essentially. Not actually half, but roughly, you know, eyeballing it. But there's that, not too bad. Uh, I'll have to scour my hard disk to find the uh, big boxes. Oh, wait, no. There was only big, one big box, plus the one extra. Yeah, damn it, that's all I got from this event. And I grinded my ass off. Oh well, and next clip, shall we? Oh yeah, and I didn't actually get any of the soiled stuff, so there's that. Oh hey look, I got my bags gloves, except I don't have enough silver, so I can't actually buy them. Which is really, really sucky, because I want bags gloves and I want Oregon shoes. Those are the two things I really, really want. Even as a wizard, I feel like I need it. So I got silver there, I got silver here, I believe I missed like 10 mil or something, which I, I, I just don't have, I just don't have 10 mil to spend, to find anywhere. But oh well, you will see later, this doesn't really matter, it was just really sucky at this moment. It's fine, it's fine. And here we are, just going to open some uh, Lauren family gifts, hopefully can get something nice out of them. Let's see here. No jump animation. Don't like that. Actually, that should be a triple jump animation. Three. Sharp. What do we get here? Hey, Witch's Earring. Not too bad. We're happy with that, right? Yeah, we happy. And for the final little updates I have, uh, this is where I'm at now. Unfortunately, I didn't record hitting 60 and maybe not 59 either. I can't quite remember where I started with this. Uh, it, it's, been, it's been a long time since the first clip. Uh, the Koi event is here. I got 555 Koi's. Plus I already sold 80 earlier, so uh, yeah, this is a pretty decent AFK event. Uh, also got 262 CP, 289 energy, and I have completed the entire main quest line, so that's really cool. Uh, as for my gear, uh, yeah, I managed to get myself uh, tri eggs gloves. I, I wonder if I took a screenshot. I bought them from the Nightwender for 78 mil, which was amazing. And I spent like 380 memory fragments 
so far. And you can see it's on uh, 47 durability from plus zero to try. So that was a pain. My Qtum was much easier. Otherwise, there aren't any big upgrades, I believe. Pretty sure my Qtum made it into the other clips. So, oh, yeah. Final thing, which again, stupidly of me, I didn't record. I finished my Furious sailboat, but I haven't put it on the water yet, so yeah, you know. I'll do that sometime, explore all of the ocean that I can explore, I suppose. And that should probably bring me to like 310 or 320 energy, which would be amazing. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, I'm trying to get to 61 for the free tri crescent ring, and I'm also saving up to make my own 3 crescent ring. So we'll see how that goes. Hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new here, and I'm sorry for the quality on the first couple of clips. I have reinstalled Windows and my, my OBS settings are kind of messed up at the moment. So there is that. See you later, bye bye.